Hey guys, it's Kigli again with another ROM review and this time I've got a ROM which has been demanded by you guys for a long time now. Um, it's the Paranoid Android version 4 that is on the KitKat base built 6 update 2 so this is the unofficial this is a unofficial version which was in the forum so i took the opportunity to show you guys how paranoid android is going and yeah that's it so let's get into the rom now first of all i would like to clarify a few things um this is not the official version so there may be a few changes and this is not the final version this is a built 6 whatever so um right now Paranoid Android doesn't have all the options which make it a PA ROM. So I just wanted to make that sure that you get that. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you see here is the normal lock screen. You can enable the widgets and stuff from the settings. Now the launcher is not the Google Experience Launcher. It's a light Google Experience Launcher which is available from uh, with the Cyanide Mod ROMs. So you have that. Apps with which it comes, only this one. It doesn't have a file manager which really throws me off because i want the file manager to be in here so that's something else let's go to the settings menu now the uh, quick setting has a different approach the rom has a different approach to the quick settings which is really cool i'll get to that in a minute now first of all in the about phone page you can see that it is beta 4 i mean it's 4 beta 6 this one is particular this one is the update Two by whoever whoever it is that posted on the XDP forum, so you have that. Uh, it is KitKat, so pretty cool. You have a lot of options there. Now, um, as I have said, this is not the final version. It doesn't have a lot of options which made Panoid Android PA ROM. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, per app DPI setting, but you can of course get that with the ex expo setting. But you don't have it in this ROM installed yet, and yeah it doesn't have halo it doesn't have anything uh right now it's just as an aosp rom which you can use and build 6 is actually quite smoother than the uh, build 3 or the build 4 which i have actually used so that is pretty cool now let's get into the features which are normal for a kitkat rom uh in the sound you have all these options which are basic options which you get from a AOSP ROM like Nexus, Super Nexus or anything like that. In the display option you have a daydream, font size, notification LED. Uh, I don't think the notification LED has the new fix which uh, makes it correct rather than using the custom values so you do need that. Uh, battery light you can enable the battery LED. Uh, it does work out pretty cool. Um, all of these double tap to sleep is something which I really uh, approve. Uh, you can just double tap the status bar to make the phone sleep. So that is cool. Um, in the buttons option, you have a lot of options. You can have custom buttons, etc, etc. You have a lot of options there. That is pretty cool. You can turn off the backlight if you don't want it. Uh, really neat. Storage options, battery option. In the battery option, you can actually change the icon here, which is, well, it's not a new thing, but it has a new location. You can change it to bar, uh, circle, or uh, circle and percentage, so that you can see it has now been changed to circle with percentage. It shows 78 percentage, so. Now, in the more settings, you have vibration intensity. You can change the intensity of the vibration, and it will give you a feedback. Uh, also, launch music app with the headphone plugged in, so that is also cool settings now in the location everything else is similar uh, in a lot of way to a st uh, super nexus rom which is pure aosp so you don't have much of the options here but as i've said this is not this is not going to be the final version the final version is going to have halo which is which was bought by uh pa so that's something which makes pa the rom it is so that's uh something which we have to wait for it does have app privacy which uh, by which you can uh, disable or enable certain uh, permissions required for each app so that's really cool it does have developer options which is similar in every respect you can have art or dalvik so um, art for better performance at the cost of memory and boot time so yeah in the apps 
it does have a light bulb uh, which you can access from this one it does have a, a few options here uh, Panoid Android OTA which gives you what is the latest ROM right now this is the latest ROM I don't have network coverage uh, here but beta 6 is the latest one you can have that uh, you can change the install you can install a few files from here rather than going to the recovery menu etc etc you have a lot of options there in the change log you can see a lot of things but uh, it requires network coverage and I don't have that in the now the quick setting it does have a different approach to the quick setting menu which i really appreciate and this is probably one of the best uh, way to have a quick setting uh, menu now first of all these are the default ones which it comes uh, it doesn't have a lot of tabs right now i guess it will add a lot in a few while uh, for adding tabs you have to click this and you see new two new things have come up now I click this and this has been added if I click it again it just goes out if I click this it goes out uh, so that is a really ingenious system of adding and removing apps I guess this is already implemented in a in few ROMs such as the uh, veneer ROM things like that so that's pretty cool now it also has a few other features now you can see with the Wi-Fi thing you can you do see a small square there you can click that so it gives you a secondary option which is related to whatever the tile was so it gives you Wi-Fi wi AP that means well it's the um, tethering option so you can enable tether from there also with this you can have change the 2G 3G network so I can change it to 2G only or 3G only so that gives you more options per tile or per space so that is pretty much a great option so that is cool now this one I really like because uh, just enabling Bluetooth to share some file is not enough right now well no one uses Bluetooth but I do and uh, <laughs> you have to go to a setting to make it discoverable so you have an option here which just you have to click it and it will be discoverable again so that is pretty cool it does have location options you can have device or uh, battery battery saving or high accuracy or whatever you want so that is really cool again uh, light bulb on and off it does work out pretty cool so yeah right now I guess this is the main feature of this ROM uh, for going with ROM uh, for going with this ROM so uh, I cannot recommend this for anyone who wants more features because it doesn't provide one uh, it is still in the development works so just wait for a little while so that you can have a better ROM experience so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for paranoid android with the eye with the google uh, logo colors circling it so that's a really cool boot animation it's different from whatever we have been seeing so that's that makes it cool now the camera app now the camera app is similar to what you can expect from the other rom so it's not optimized it's not clear uh, you can always uh, flash the um, fixed AOSP camera app which is available for Esther, which does drastically improve the camera performance it doesn't give you as much as the can't connect to camera option or error uh, so that is a good thing so if you would if you are a shutterbug you need that and if you are really sure about just stick with the stock and uh, stock ROM with the S3 so that you can you don't have a few problems later on so that's really cool um, I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye